packs, plenty of gear, camping, a lot of rods. Trying to sort of not take more rods than I need, but um, when you're packing for a land based trip, you just sort of have all these things going through your head, you know. What if I want to throw bigger metals than, you know, that I normally do? You know, what if, uh, what if I have a, you know, a rod break? I don't want to be left without, you know, a rod. Anyway, so I'm heading up the coast. Um, fishing's not exactly firing at the moment, but you know what? I don't mind that. I like to turn the tide sometimes, so I'll uh, just enjoy the experience. I won't let you know where I'm going just yet, but I think you'll get the idea when I get a bit closer. So, anyway, here we go. Bit of North Coast LBG, autumn action, hopefully. Ciao. Uh, yeah, so swells, swells pumping from the south. It's been blowing pretty solid west, southwest for the last few days up here, well, up and down the New South Wales coast. So, it really affects the inshore waters on the north coast. You, um, they're, you know, they're pretty shallow in, in part. Um, they're deep actually very close to the coast but then they become sand very quickly and um, yeah it can make the waves jack up a bit but you know what blues and max it doesn't bother them at all as long as you can fish safely um, you know a bit of white water a bit of shallow water what breaking waves doesn't seem to bother them in fact they'll often feed inside where the waves are breaking so it's got to be careful here it's a pretty pretty dodgy spot um, we'll see how we go. Um, the location I'm going to fish this afternoon was um, made very, f not very famous, but was uh, showcased in a video that uh, Ron Calcutt, Ozzy Emery and Don Clay made back in 75 called Potluck. It was part of the Fisherman's World series. And um, the car park that I've got the, the Land Cruiser parked in, um, it's well short of where they were able to drive back in 75, I think it was. Hey, me again. Pretty sure this is the spot where uh, Jay Gospel very carefully steered the rain drover down in um, in the old uh, Fisherman's World series potluck. Pretty narrow little uh, piece of headland. I can imagine when it's wet, it'd be really greasy. Um, but wow, imagine being able to get out of your car and literally walk, you know, 50 meters tops to an awesome fishing spot. Not any more boys and girls. It's uh, long walks all the way. So this is actually where you used to be able to park your car 40 odd years ago. Literally right on the point here, and you could drive down that headland in the background. I've walked about about 800 metres to a K to get to this point now. But back in the day, the boys would park here and you could literally roll down to the ledge. Um, Maybe there are some old uh, 55 cruisers or ranges or something down on the bottom there. I can't imagine everyone's handbrake held up here. Certainly not the Toyotas. So 45 series might be some of them down there. Anyway, big seas. I'll see if I can stay up high. I might do a bit, a bit of sight casting. I can't say I'm going to land anything if I hook it, but hey, we'll give it a go. The swell is pumping today, which it was in that movie Potluck that I've mentioned a couple of times now. Um, yeah, so most of these northern headlands, you can actually get pretty high and fish, but um, we'll just see. I'm not hopeful, but it's been a nice walk, a bit of nostalgia. There's actually the rod holder down there, and you can normally catch sort of yakas down there, and you can normally spin out here. Um, good copious spot. I've hooked a, hooked a marlin out here on a halfway quarter. There's been some big max hooks here. Um, good spot to sit on the cliff and uh, wait for blues to come by. 
Not sure I'll be going down there right now. The seas just look a bit too dodgy. I'm just going to check, check the tides. Um, you've got to know your boundaries when you're rock fishing. Uh, no fish, I know I've said this before, but no fish is worth losing your life for. And you will never win against the ocean. I think I might have said that before as well, but um, yeah, true words. Probably not my words, but um, yeah. Big swell day, and um, when Ron, Joe, and Wayne arrived here in 1975 in the movie Potluck, um, this is where they actually fished, just through that little area there. Pretty safe. You got this this point protecting you from the south swell. Pretty much same conditions today that I'm greeted with so further around them you know towards the more LBG part of the point it's just way too dangerous but um, there's some pretty good looking country there for um, you know Jew, Brim, Taylor so I might go down and have a few cars yeah, so I found a little corner here got the gear rig done just got a little uh, pilchard with a single inline hook Put a bit of wire on, not so much that I think I'm going to get a mackerel, but more, more so for not losing fish when I bounce them up the rocks. So I've had one cast, took the tailor, actually hooked two tails straight away and they both jumped off. So um, I've just put some wire on just to make it a bit easier. If I do get something, I might keep the tailor for dinner tomorrow. But there's enough blue water there, you can see the, um, there's a bit of a gap here at this end of the beach where the rips are running out. So. There's obviously a stack of tailor in there. I hooked one straight away. So mackerel and bluefin will happily feed in there, as will you. So I'll let my lure land on the bottom. It's all sand and um, just bring it back real quick. So I'm using a thread line, just a 5.7 to one high speed, just for ease of operations more than anything. Prefer to use an overhead, but when it's this rough, I'll probably just stick with the thread line. Anyway, let's see how we go. Not a bad chopper. Just got him on a 65 gram um, filly. And I put a, a twin, twin inline hook rig because they tend to throw off the metals. I've already jumped off two. He's about 60 centimetres long. That's a very nice tail. Very nice. I think you'd classify that as a greenback. Uh, there we go. You can see the, the hook set up. Twin singles, they stay to stay, they, they sort of stay in longer um, when the tailors start jumping around. Alright, so we can get another one. Very famous headland there to the to the north. A few beaches in between. Big swell. A lot of white water here. Fantastic looking uh, country down there for snapper and mulloway if you're into that sure that I am today but um, just keeping an eye on that current line out there that's running right in funnily enough at the next headland see it there it's missing this headland but it's literally just running right in on a rather famous uh, unknown headland over there so basically when you're casting off the headland there to the north you're literally casting directly into that current line there that's coming off it so sort of see why that's such a great location so early start for me tomorrow I'll be there at dawn hopefully the swells backed off a bit by then but that's a fantastic looking current line out there I'd say it's got bait in it even it's literally licking the end of the headland down to the north here so put some 8500 125 gram metals into that who knows Certainly missing this headline though. With an early start planned for the next morning, Pete and myself decided we'd head back to camp, get our gear reorganised, cook dinner and get a good night's sleep.